Welcome to our video, how's it going? If you're new to our channel, please consider subscribing if you get value out of today's video. Today, we're looking at Tonga as part of a series of 25 countries that much of the world is unfamiliar with. We'll learn about the people, the place, the landscape, the country itself, and more. And also be enjoying some of the unique views that are unique to Tonga, the landscapes, and the scenery that you'll see there. If you enjoy vacation or seeing parts of the world, hang out with us. And going to Europe and going to America, exploring Africa, it's the dream of many people to vacation more. Well, it's invaluable for those people and myself to see new places and discover new cultures. But here's the thing. There are many places that attract a lot of tourists every year in the terms of numbers of tourists and people that visit. But what about the country where tourists don't go? Maybe you're hearing Tonga for the first time. Well, let's dive in. Tonga is the only monarch in the Pacific and the only Pacific nation never to fully lose its indigenous governance. Also known as the Friendly Islands, it consists of 171 coral and volcanic islands spread over 750 square kilometers, with 48 of those islands being inhabited by people. Tonga is a Polynesian kingdom of more than 170 islands. This Polynesian kingdom with over 170 islands, many of them uninhabited, are mostly lined with white, beautiful beaches and coral reefs and covered with tropical rainforest. The main island, Tongatapu, is protected by lagoons and limestone cliffs. It is home to the rural capital of Nukulofa, as well as beach resorts, plantations, and a monumental coral gate from the 1200s. Tonga is renowned for its economic, ethnic, and cultural influences over the Pacific. This fact about Tonga has remained strong even after the Samoa Revolution of the 13th century and the Europeans' discovery of the island in 1616, a major turning point in the history of the island. Tonga has a small but open island economy. The country largely exports agricultural goods and fish. These items make up to close to 80% of Tonga's total exports. Tonga's economy is also based around tourism, although this industry has faltered in recent years following the following the global economic crisis in 2008. If you're curious about visiting, Tonga is a group of islands in the South Pacific Ocean located near Fiji and Samoa. It's home to around 103,000 people who live on 36 to 40 of the country's 170 islands. Tonga is the only Pacific country with a constitutional monarchy. It's officially known as the Kingdom of Tonga, having a king and a queen style of system. In Tonga, horse meat is eaten nationally, and Tonga immigrants living in the United States, New Zealand, and Australia have retained a taste for it, claiming Christian missionaries originally introduced it to them. Tonga is a very small kingdom of land that belongs to the royalty and nobility, and land is scarce there. But you can lease land for a period of 99 years, and the prices are very reasonable. The climate of Tonga, if you're thinking about visiting, is tropical and they'd have a wet season from November to April and a dry season from May to October, though it fluctuates year by year. The number one reason for a lower price in Tonga is that you can't buy in Tonga. You can only lease. If you wish to move to the other side of the world, Tonga is an ideal expat destination. Located in Polynesia, the Kingdom of Tonga offers an amazing blend of ancient traditions and cultures with modernism. Although the economy is quite limited, Tonga welcomes foreign investors with open arms. Tonga is one of the few places in the world where you can still swim with the whales. As most of the whales are mothers with calves, Tongan operators take great care not to intrude too heavily on these wild animals. Within the Pacific, Tonga is recognized to have some of the highest overall health standards, implementing a combination of preventative and immediate strategies to curb rates of communicable diseases. Child mortality and overall life expectancy is high. Agriculture is the mainstream of the Tongan economy. Squash, coconuts, bananas, and vanilla beans constitute the main cash crop, and other important crops include yams, taro, cassava, corn, watermelon, pineapples, breadfruit, limes, and tomatoes. Foreigners who wish to start a new business or intend to establish a subsidiary in the country of any business must apply for a business license. Non-Tongan citizens with job offer or wishing to work in the Kingdom of Tonga must get an employee visa. Tonga is the 16th least visited country in the world, and according to the 2017 estimates, 38,000 tourists visited the country. 
Tonga is one of the rare countries that is fully governed by a monarchy, and buying tickets can be a challenge as it's difficult to spell the country's capital. It might be pronounced as Nukulofa, it's spelled quite interestingly. And the airport is Fao Amatu. Hospitality in Tonga is very important. People are very friendly and helpful for tourists. And again, once you establish a close relationship with people, you can participate in the barbecue parties held here, that Tonga is slightly famous for. Tonga has also many beautiful and fantastic beaches. So many, so some people believe it to be an imaginary land. Over the next few minutes, we'd like you to enjoy some of the unique scenes of Tonga. Stay with us, enjoy the view beyond this video, as we enjoy sharing the people, the places, and the series of the 25 uncommonly known about countries around the world. And now, the views of Tonga. Enjoy. <laughs> 